All right, let's bring in now Australia, Israel and Jewish Affairs Council Executive Director Colin Rubenstein. Colin, great to see you. Look, one thing that Penny Wong seemed to miss in her speech last night is that the Palestinian territories actually don't meet the official requirements for statehood, do they? They certainly, uh, they certainly do not, and there never has been a Palestinian state, as uh, your viewers, most viewers uh, would know. And uh, very sadly, uh, you know, her speech, uh, to put it politely, was uh, full of contradictions and very confusing, because on the one hand, she understands that Hamas have, has no role in the future, and the Palestinian Authority has to be significantly reformed. Uh, but then, of course, in uh, suggesting that uh, there could be early recognition of a Palestinian state. Uh, she is undermining the prospects of emboldening the moderates and creating a, a, a pathway towards a two-state so, solution. What mm. she's creating is reinforcing extremism and, and bloodshed. And, uh, uh, you know, in a very sort of insulting sort of way, uh, yeah. setting up the special advisor and also implying Israel's not complying with international law and imposing starvation. This is fueling uh, animosity in a way that's unbecoming, I think, of responsible political leadership. Mm -hmm. Yes, fueling anti-Semitism. Colin, how badly did Penny Wong and Albanese mislead Jewish groups like yours before the last election when she said that Middle East policy would be identical to the coalitions? Well, if that's what they were saying, of course, uh, it's not been the case. Uh, I think many people were aware of the, the political history of uh, both of those leaders, particularly the Prime Minister. Uh, Senator Wong has been to Israel and, uh, you know, sort of knowledgeable about the situation. So it's particularly disappointing uh, that she would raise this prospect of... Uh, Organising a Palestinian state soon, when that, of course, would, as your commentators this evening have pointed out time and again, that would reward and reinforce extremism, when she offers no pathway uh, for undermining and dismantling Hamas, which is a must yes. if they were to move exactly. forward. And, of course, uh, people forget that the Palestinian Authority is not exactly moderate. No, it's rejected far from it. Far from, from it. Her, yeah, I'm sorry. Major, we... uh, I apologise. I always run out of time oh, in this last segment. Colin Rubenstein, thank you so much.